there's loads of plants like the chickweed, um, cleavers, comfrey that would grow naturally in woodlands. And then if you planted things like chamomile and calendula on the borders and around woodlands, you've basically got your instant apothecary. Um, you can make creams, uh, you could do oil, just the straight oils. You don't even need to make a cream. You could do a comfrey oil, um, comfrey and plantain oil, which all you'd have to do is get the herb, put it in oil, leave it for a couple of months, and you've got an oil that will heal uh, cuts. It'll help with bone injuries, obviously not broken bones. Calendula and chamomile, both of them grow really, really easily. And you could grow them in a small plot of land, very small amounts. You could grow it as a border plant around woodlands. So the really important rules about drying is that it is in a fairly light, sunlight-free place. You know, an old barn, a shed, but there has to be ventilation. So, today's harvest is going on the drying rack. These will take, on in the summer, about five days. Spread everything out because it gives it more opportunity to dry. And these big flower heads do hold a lot of moisture. Up it goes. It should be dry. And these will go straight into oil. So this is the calendula that we've got that's dried. Um, you could, any, any dried flower you can use, chamomile, lavender, comfrey, whatever you are making. And you don't need to do this in such a big jar, you could do it in a jam jar. But I would recommend using a high quality cold pressed oil. Fill it up with your choice of oil. And if you're making it at home, you literally need an old jam jar on your kitchen windowsill, the sunniest windowsill. Um, leave it there in the sunshine for six to eight weeks and you'll have your oil. So I'm going to make the baby's cream with the calendula and chamomile, not the one we picked, but the one we picked last year. So this is macerated for a year, but you can leave it uh, two or three months. So obviously the oil started off as a pale yellow and calendula gives it this beautiful gorgeous orange so this is the chamomile so um, I'm going to measure out a litre and a half of oil and you put 10% in grams in weight of beeswax so that's 150 grams of beeswax we need so we've got the chamomile, calendula and carrot oil in here and so I'm going to weigh out 150 grams, 150 exactly um, and this all goes in to the bain marie. Um, you can't heat it directly, you have to put it in a bain marie, so you could do it the same as if you were melting chocolate. Right, so the beeswax has melted. I'm now going to add in some rose water, but you can add in lavender water, chamomile water, orange flower water, there's lots of distilled waters. And this is a pretty simple way of making a cream. So. I don't like to use emulsifiers, so the beeswax here is acting as a really gentle emulsifier. So we've got the cream, um, we just need to add in 
some lavender. baby's cream it doesn't really what matter what size jars you use but it's really important if you're making things with herbs to use a dark glass but it is really really simple you literally need a two litre plastic jug bain marie you can use your ordinary stove um, and some glass jars and that and that's it <laughs>